friends how are you all doing let me hope you all are fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support i really appreciate much please please if you haven't subscribed and it is your first time here welcome to my channel please after watching this video remember to subscribe and when you subscribe YouTube automatically will turn on that notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So please do that and thank you so much. So dear friends, in our today's video, we are going to be having a story time of Rachel's part three, love story. An online dating success love story of a Ugandan lady by the name of Rachel, a single mother of one who found love on online dating app after two days of joining. This guy that Rachel found is from Germany and is a billionaire here. Yeah. <laughs> we really thank God for our sister and we are here today to learn from her love story. If you come across a rich guy online, how do they behave? Because last time I shared with you Rachel's love story part two and we saw Timothy was a rich guy, said he was a rich guy. But by watching this part three, which would be the last part, you can compare Timothy and this new German guy, this billionaire, you will surely notice the difference here. <laughs> So dear friends, those who watched Rachel's Love Story Part 2, we will start from where we stopped. But those who did not watch any of Rachel's Love Story, please go start with Part 1 and you will find the link of Part 1 Rachel's Love Story on Part 2 description. But those who watched Part 1 and you haven't come across Part 2 Rachel's Love Story, you're going to find that link on this description the description of this video which is part three so watch part one part two then come back here to enjoy part three yeah so those who watched part two let's continue guys and before i continue guys i want to say few things that i noticed after uploading part two rachel's love story <laughs> i came to find out that most of you who wrote the comments you did not watch the whole video yeah <laughs> very few people that watched the whole video and they were like bella we are waiting for part three but most could be writing things that are not even related to that video because <laughs> You watched that story and then wrote, oh my God, I'm sorry to her. Let me hope next time she will be careful and we'll find the one. <laughs> Whereby, by the end of that video, I told you guys that Rachel succeeded, found a very rich, rich guy, a thousand times richer than Timothy. <laughs> Please, please, when you click on any of my story time for you to understand, get all those tips and tricks, you have to watch the whole video to the end. If you don't have time to finish it that day, you can finish the next day, but make sure you watch the whole of it. So thank you so much, guys. The second thing, I think it's a question maybe you have been asking yourself after watching Rachel's love story, but one, whereby got pregnant as she wanted to do her CPL, commercial pilot license. So maybe you've been asking yourself, did she finish? Did Rachel graduate? Is Rachel a pilot now? <laughs> so Rachel tells you that yes, eventually managed to do her CPL. And after doing her CPL, on top of that, she did airport operations so right now guys rachel is a pilot <laughs> yeah a beautiful pilot from uganda and later on rachel got a job with das ground handling in tebe airport yeah that is where she is right now as i'm making this video yeah so guys, lastly that I wanted to talk about then we start this love story of today. Guys, your comments on part two, Rachel's love story left me like, what? 
<laughs> and I was like, if that's your mindset, some of you, no wonder till now you have not yet succeeded because it is clear you don't know even what you are looking for. Like some of you are like, oh, at least Timothy sent Rachel money. So even if he acted the way he acted, it's fine. But the truth is Rachel went to the dating sites, dating apps to search for true love. Rachel wasn't interested in his money. Even some of you were like, oh, maybe she got carried away with his money. Not at all. This girl had her own good job and had a very big house guys a villa <laughs> she was paying that villa by herself no man was helping her the only thing rachel wanted is true love from a man a man to love her and her child and this is my wish that every lady even you my babies that i am guiding you should go to the dating sites to search for true love but if you go with the mind of i want a guy who will give me some money that is when you come across these guys they start telling you oh i am rich send you 100 euros 50 euros which is nothing here in europe or in america and you get carried away you keep chatting you keep entertaining him some of you are asked by these guys because of money to show your nude bodies to do those online sex videos which is so so bad but you do them because of money <laughs> if really you thought what timothy did to rachel was right because he sent her the money mm, i don't know guys if you really know what you're searching for online but with rachel wanted true love wanted a family okay <laughs> not money not someone sending her money you send me money and then what another thing guys if you don't know i'm guiding lots lots of ladies i told you some are pilots you see like rachel some are doctors some are engineers ladies that are so good in life very financially stable but what do they miss that true love money isn't everything guys especially when it comes to love i know exist ladies that have decided to be single by choice and they don't care <laughs> so a lady like that if she has money and she has decided that i want to be single it's my choice that one yes money is good <laughs> money can give her happiness but if you're a lady you really want to find that true love it's what you want even if you have all that money still it is not all <laughs> still it won't give you happiness money will give you happiness when you'll find that man who will love you truly be by your side and if he has money then money is sweet because <laughs> you're enjoying it while happy yes so because rachel went to search for love on the dating sites dating apps with a pure heart a genuine heart to find true love and the way she was searching the way she started chatting with timothy he knew you know this is the perfect woman for me i tell you even if you are chatting with someone everything is going well or you have found love already on the dating sites that guy that chose you has the reason a special reason to why he chose you but unfortunately <laughs> not all guys online will choose you for good reasons some will choose you because they see you that you are easily manipulated maybe your approach the way you started things he saw that you have a pure heart and you're going to fall in love with him immediately <laughs> which will be so good for him to tell you his lies you're going to accept his lies and if he is not planning to see you in real life then you are perfect for him one time i told you even toxic guys they won't choose any lady <laughs> i see most of you coming and complaining bella they're ghosting me bella i chatted with him he no longer responds to me <laughs> But maybe that guy was a toxic guy and after chatting with you for a while, the way you approached things, he saw that uh -uh, this one isn't perfect for me. It's not a lady who will just believe in what I'm telling her. So I better leave. 
keep approaching others until I get the perfect lady for me to manipulate, for me to play games on her. I've seen guys that chose ladies, got married to them, and then started being toxic to those ladies. But you know what is so surprising? Those ladies never run. Why is that? Their nature. <laughs> There are those ladies who always say, yes, 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 my love, you know, easily manipulated. They can't take actions. You know, even if a guy even hits her, she will still be like, no, my man will change. <laughs> and you wonder, oh, why is that? Why is this lady like this? <laughs> He's not stupid. He chose her with her character because he knew she will never run. So let's be very, very careful. The way we approach these guys, the way we chat with them. Also, I repeat, use your head first instead of your heart. Once you are sure, you are convinced that the guy is real, then start putting your heart into it because if the guy is putting his heart into it of course you too have to put your heart into it this is all about true love so yes guys timothy really manipulated rachel very very much but it reached a point rachel opened her eyes was like no <laughs> I can't keep on running after you. I'm going to keep quiet and see what you will do. If you are interested, of course, you're going to reach out. But Timothy never reached out. And I thank God Rachel opened her eyes. Because if she did not open her eyes, he could have kept on wasting her time, promising and promising to come till five years. I know a lady who dated a guy for three good years and he was doing the same as Timothy. That is why I've been telling you I've got enough, enough experience. I helped that lady now is married in America. I don't know if she's watching me, <laughs> but even when she came to me, couldn't believe what I was telling her that he's just prolonging a relationship. But I thank God followed what I told her and later saw that yes, this guy was just wasting my time and it's not that he was not taking care of her he was taking care of her and this lady had three kids this guy was paying school fees for all those three kids but wasted her three good years so yes rachel opened her eyes and stopped the relationship ended between timothy and rachel last time rachel was telling me if timothy comes back she will be like oh my god timothy thank you so much <laughs> for leaving me for ghosting me for doing what you did because it opened <laughs> the bigger door for me yeah, and what does this teach us? It teaches us that never be scared to leave a guy that you see does not have what you're looking for in a guy. He is not making you have peace. A guy that makes you beg for communication, hell no. Why should you do that? Even if he's been sending you money, keep searching. God knows what he has in store for you. Just like Rachel left Timothy who was, you know, kind rich, but if we compare him with this German guy, he wasn't even rich. <laughs> yeah, God is wonderful, guys. So friends, after Rachel ending it with Timothy, kept on watching my videos, learning, taking notes, and then came across this video that it was a collaboration between me and our beautiful Chex Lair. <laughs> yeah, you guys that follow me here can remember that video. So after Rachel watching it, told herself, Bella has been advising us to keep moving forward. We shouldn't mind the bad experience that we have got on the dating apps or even offline. We need to keep moving forward. So I am going to keep on moving forward and I will try this dating app that she recommended. That is when Rachel downloaded that dating app. And when she downloaded that dating app, started searching, got lots, lots of messages from guys. But whenever she could come across a message like, hey, sexy, hi, sweetheart, <laughs> you look very hot, she could block, block, block. She says, you can't approach me in that way. And for me to expect, 
you will be decent, not at all. I really liked that about her. I was like, yes, girl, this time you really watched my videos. <laughs> so kept on ignoring those players. So guys, day two, that is when Rachel landed on a message of this guy from Germany. His name is Ben. So this was May 2024. And his message was like, hi, I would like to get to know you if it is okay with you. So when Rachel went to his profile, this guy had one picture of him, but the picture was blurred. <laughs> it wasn't clear. And the second picture was of a boat, but that picture of a boat seemed like a picture taken from the newspaper. You know, when someone cuts a newspaper and then <laughs> takes a photo. Yeah, so for her, it looked like that and his account was not verified. So she was like, ah. anyways, let me respond to him. So she responded and after responding immediately, Ben responded back. So guys, when he responded back, told Rachel, Please, I would like us to exchange WhatsApp numbers. Rachel told herself, why not? Let us exchange WhatsApp numbers. If he brings nonsense, I'm going to block him anyways. <laughs> yeah, so they exchanged WhatsApp numbers and immediately he reached out <laughs> to Rachel. <laughs> yeah, so when he reached out, asked Rachel, please, can we make a video call? Rachel accepted, though was kind nervous. So they talked on that video call and it took them very few minutes <laughs> on a video, then ended the video call, returned to chatting no more, you know, no more chats. So they kept on chatting and chatting, getting to know each other. So guys, after chatting for three days, day three, then Ben called her on a video call, was like, you know, I like you very, very much and I have decided I want to come and meet you one on one physically because I'm not a social media person. This whole online dating thing isn't my thing at all, at all. So that is why I would like to see you. We get to talk and get to know each other. Oh my God. She couldn't believe it, was actually shocked. He drafted his whole plan, told her I am coming, also added or kept on telling her his plan that he's going to be in Joburg, Johannesburg, South Africa for two days. He has a business meeting there. After that business meeting, then we'll go to Kampala to meet Rachel. But Rachel tells us, did not bother to ask him, hey, what do you do for a living? What kind of business or anything? <laughs> Not at all, because Rachel wants true love. When it comes to money, wasn't something that she was looking for in a guy. So whatever business he did, it wasn't her problem at all. <laughs> but this is kind of risky, guys. You who is watching this video, you have to know what a guy does for a living. It's very, very important. Yes. <laughs> Don't start to be like, oh, it worked out for Rachel. She never asked. So I'll do the same. Girl, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I've been telling you, focus on your journey, okay? <laughs> and we'll talk more deeply into this before I end this video. For now, let's continue with this story. So yeah, after giving her his plan, they kept on talking, you know, every day, making video calls, you know, getting to know each other until that third week that he was supposed to come came so when that third week came rachel still did not take him seriously it was like this guy just knew me for a few days how can he sacrifice his time to come and see me or see a person he hardly knew <laughs> yeah so she kept on saying ah this one is just joking you know due to her past experience you know was used of a guy telling her i'll come to see you but he never made it you know to meet her so she was like maybe this is another timothy trying to make me excited and then disappear on me so they kept on chatting never blocked him but that's what her heart kept on telling her so dear friends the third week came 
the day that Ben was supposed to travel, go meet Rachel. And when he was at the airport inside the plane, took videos of him, sent them to Rachel that you see, I'm here in the plane <laughs> coming to see you. Also took videos of the hostess, you know, walking around inside the plane and sent them to Rachel to show her this is real. What did I tell you? I told you when you are chatting with a serious guy, he will want to make everything clear to you. There is no question you're going to ask him and he will start making corners, telling you why are you asking this, even getting angry at you and eventually block you. If he blocks you because you asked just a simple question, that guy wasn't serious. You're not supposed even to be sad and start, you know, blaming yourself. It's my fault. It's my fault. Or maybe I have a problem. Not at all. Simply was just a player. So Ben kept on assuring Rachel with videos that I am really coming. If you compare this guy with Timothy, you can see the difference. Timothy could say, yes, I will be coming. We're going to get married. We all got excited, but he did not have even a booked flight ticket to Uganda to show Rachel, look, I am really coming. You know what I say? I mean it. So really Rachel was traumatized with what happened with Timothy even with the video still did not take him seriously. She was like, ah, this one can take videos from elsewhere and send them to me. <laughs> Pretend that he is coming to meet me. <laughs> so they kept on chatting and he told her, when we set off, I am not going to be online. So the time approached, he sent her a message that I am setting off from Paris to Johannesburg. So guys, Ben travels from Paris to Johannesburg. When he arrived in Johannesburg, Rachel tells us it was very late. She had slept already. But Timothy sent her the message that I arrived safe in Joburg. When she woke up in the morning, found his message and was like, ah, is this guy serious? Still did not believe him. <laughs> but that very morning, he called her on a video call. They talked and showed her around his hotel. She was like, okay. <laughs> so he had his meeting and when the meeting ended, told her and then those two days were over. So it was time for him to travel, come to Kampala <laughs> to meet Rachel. So told her, I'm setting off from Jobeg to Entebbe. I can't wait to see you. Still Rachel was like, no, <laughs> I can't believe it that this guy is really coming for me within this short period of time that we have got to know each other. So yes, guys, eventually Ben landed in Entebbe, you know, took a video again <laughs> and sent it to Rachel. I was like, I have arrived in Entebbe, now going to my hotel. It was in the morning, Rachel tells us. So arriving at the hotel, told her, I would like to meet you over dinner because during the day, I've got some other things to do, some meetings. So evening time will be the best. Rachel was like, okay, no problem. But still was like, is this guy serious? <laughs> so guys, remember all this is happening. I wasn't aware of anything. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, for me, I thought maybe Rachel was still keeping on wasting her time with Timothy. Yeah. So here tells us when afternoon came, she started looking for the dress, you know, to wear for dinner and was like, you know, with me, I'm not a slayer. I don't know how to dress to kill. <laughs> And also watched a video on TikTok, a lady advising, or oh, if you're going on a date, you should wear heels, you should wear a red dress, put on a lipstick, put on some makeup. And for her, is not even a makeup person. She's naturally beautiful. <laughs> I'm not saying those of us who put on makeup, we are ugly. <laughs> we are not at all at all. It's because we love to wear makeup. But Rachel is so 
totally different doesn't put on makeup but she takes a good care of herself so I was like what can i do these things people are advising it's not my thing oh my god i have to buy heels <laughs> so as she was there wondering on what she should do then gets a message from ben telling her you know what rachel i would prefer if you wear just simple no need for heels or what just come simple i love that it was a relief to her <laughs> she was like oh you have saved me today <laughs> so she prepared her jeans a pink shirt <laughs> and open shoes flat ones yeah then was ready kept on doing other things while time kept on going towards <laughs> their first meeting their dinner date so dear friends when evening time came rachel gets a message from ben i'm telling you this guy really tested rachel without her even noticing it <laughs> and you guys that have been like oh my god i wish to find a rich guy <laughs> i've got babies of mine who approached me straight away they are like bella i'm searching for a wealthy guy <laughs> and i really laughed so 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 hard i was like okay no problem let's see <laughs> because a rich guy a good guy is from god if he planned you're going to get married to a rich guy you will get married to a rich guy but we should also be very careful on how we respond to these people <laughs> when we find them online because a small mistake can make that rich guy run away from you who knows you even came across him and <laughs> <laughs> he had to run away from you just maybe you responded differently from how he expected so let's learn from this <laughs> so rachel gets a message from ben that evening ben asking her rachel are you sure you want to meet me and rachel answered why are you asking that yes i want to meet you <laughs> then he responded back told her Rachel, I am very ugly, very old, and very poor. There is nothing you are going to get from me. Rachel responds again and tells him, You know what? It is very sad that you look at yourself that way. To me, your physical appearance or how you look like, it is not that important. Also adds that your age does not bother me. What you look like at the end of the day, you are still a human being. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be accepted or loved. So guys, Ben was so surprised by her response. Again asked her, are you sure you still want to come? She responds, yes. I want to come and for me what I'm looking for is that compatibility then Ben tells her that's fine I'm going to be sending my driver to come and pick you up send me your location I'll also share your whatsapp number with the driver so that he will call you while coming and after picking you up you will come to my hotel to pick me and we go somewhere and then he asked me if i knew if i had a specific place in mind i told him no i don't i don't i'm not the type that gets out much so i don't know places then he's like okay um he would figure out so he figured something out and he asked me if we could go to this place um le petit village yeah le petit village a japanese restaurant and i'm like yeah it's okay then um i didn't know it was a posh place <laughs> I'd never been to it. I didn't know it was a posh place. So I'm here waiting for his driver to come. So guys, the driver calls her and was like, I am at the school almost approaching the estate. So which house are you? Then Rachel told herself, it is better I go out, start walking, then we meet halfway. So while outside, you know, walking, dressed very comfortably just like how ben told her to be herself <laughs> had her car bag you know <laughs> looking around so this car moving towards her and she did not even take it seriously because did not expect anything fancy like she said before <laughs> thought 
was going to be picked by an uber guy then the guy calls her again and is like is it you with a pink shirt and a jeans <laughs> then she responds yes it's me looking at the car omg <laughs> it was a very very fancy car lexus sport 570 that's what she said <laughs> yeah <laughs> came to pick her wow she was like okay but in her head told herself the guy is from europe these europeans can just pay 2000 euros and hire a car to impress me so she entered in that car and she was like bella the comfort in that car it is something else so they start moving you know to the hotel where Ben was. Inside the car, Rachel tells us they kept on chatting with Ben, you know, him making her laugh a lot. Yes, had told her where that hotel is, even the name of the hotel, but did not bother, you know, to go Google, know if the hotel is fancy or anything like that. So arriving at the hotel, oh my god it's a fancy fancy hotel four points and she had question marks again really this guy is poor and then stays at this hotel anyway <laughs> so they wait and then he comes they hug never kissed or anything enters in the car they keep on talking tells us he was talking non-stop you know everything was flowing so they kept on going then arrive at that japanese restaurant outside ben gets out of the car and opens the door <laughs> for rachel rachel was like wow he's such a gentleman <laughs> i've never been treated this way so they go towards the restaurant tells us it was a very very fancy restaurant they sit down then decide to order same same food seafood so they eat take wine kept talking laughing and after they finished eating he asks her do you want some dessert because it was dessert time then rachel is like not really i won't take any dessert because my teeth are not in a good state then he asks her do they hurt she says yes sometimes oh my god he was very very touched and told her you don't need to go through such pain and told her do you have any dentist that you trust then she says yes then told her please book an appointment Tomorrow morning, we go to that dentist so that your teeth can be fixed. I don't want you to keep on living like this. Then she was like, okay, I will do it. Then he tells her, I want you to do it now. Book now. So she books an appointment to the dentist for the next day. They keep on talking. But when she looked at the watch, it was late. 10 almost arriving 11 so told him i need to go because rachel lives in entebbe and this guy was in kampala <laughs> where the restaurant was tells us from kampala to entebbe there is really a distance yeah so when he told him he was like it's fine let's go so when the driver dropped them rachel thought that because he had the car the car you know will go and then we're going to order another uber but going out so that ben wasn't ordering any uber <laughs> looking outside the driver was inside the car actually he was sleeping rachel was like he was sleeping bambi <laughs> yeah so told ben oh my god he is sleeping has he eaten he must be so hungry then ben tells her you know what rachel unfortunately there is nothing i can do because it is his job then rachel tells him no he must be hungry he must eat he is a human being then <laughs> ben wakes up the driver and rachel gives the driver money to go and look for food ben asks rachel are you sure you want to give him that money she says yes he should go and eat i can wait a little bit longer so gives him money he goes and then comes back with food he's like i will eat when i'm settled rachel says no you just eat calmly i can wait when you finish eating we will go oh my god rachel tells us at that time ben was looking at her 
smiling and shaking his head. Couldn't believe it. <laughs> Kept on staring at her. So the driver goes to eat and they decided to take a bit of a walk. So they took a walk and when they came back, he had finished eating. They started moving. So when they started moving, of course, they were going to first drop Ben at his hotel. Then the driver drops Rachel. So they go and when they reach at some point, the driver stops and then tells Ben, we don't have enough petrol because the guy who was supposed to give me the card to put petrol wasn't around today. Then Ben tells him, no problem, let's go and look for any petrol station and then you're going to fill in the fuel. So they go arrive at this petrol station. When they arrived, the driver asks the guy who was there, you know, to help them <laughs> and put the fuel if he has a machine for the visa card. <laughs> Because Ben was supposed to pay using the visa card. Then the guy at the petrol station responds that no, unfortunately, the guy who had that machine is off duty. The only option you have is to pay via Momo, mobile money, or pay in cash. So Ben did not have Ugandan money, had only that visa card. And the driver didn't have money. <laughs> to pay for fuel so the driver is like what can we do before ben responds richard is like it's okay it's fine he can fuel the car i am going to pay ben is like hell no i can't allow you pay <laughs> she's like no i'm sure ben is like are you sure yes i am sure let them fuel so in her head knew that it was going to cost her maybe around 150,000 Ugandan shillings because she had some money for emergency in her mobile money. Learned from my videos that if you're going on a date, even you who are traveling, you come to a different country, have money for yourself in case of anything. So it was like, Bella, I had that in your video. So I had money by myself in my phone just an emergency if anything happens if my debt goes wrong so they fuel the car full tank <laughs> and when all is done the guy at the petrol station is like she is supposed to pay four hundred and fifty thousand ugandan shillings oh my god Luckily, Rachel had that money, so she paid and they started moving. Ben was looking at her, shaking his head, you know, smiling, like was in a shock. <laughs> so when they started moving, Rachel started praying to God. Her biggest prayer was Ben not to ask her to go with him to his hotel. <laughs> I hope this guy won't be like, can we spend a night together? Can you follow me to my hotel? Oh my God, I don't know what is going to happen. And I can say here, Rachel took so much risk. God protected this lady. But if you're watching this video, never ever enter into anyone's car and go to any place. Never. If you are to meet, go there by yourself. If he wants to pay for you an Uber, let him pay. But take an Uber, go to meet him. If it is a taxi, take a taxi and go meet this guy. Don't enter into his car because online dating has got weird, weird people, the serial killers and all that. You can't trust someone that you have never met and you enter into his car without knowing where will he take you. <laughs> Yeah, so she took a risk and it went good for her. It doesn't mean it will go good on your side. Yes, dear beautiful ladies, because I don't want to do videos and you misunderstand me. Start being like, yeah, Rachel did it. He sent me a car and then we come to hear a horrible story happened to you. Not at all. <laughs> Not from my videos. So yes, guys, Rachel kept on praying and then they arrive at Ben's hotel. 
So when they arrive at Ben's hotel, like normally, told Rachel good night, let us meet tomorrow morning, and he went out of the car, had to get out of the car, hugged him, and they said goodbye tomorrow, tomorrow. He went to his hotel, and they kept on with their journey to Entebbe. When Rachel arrived home, messaged him, was like, thank you so much for the dinner date. I enjoyed very, very much <laughs> and have a good night. See you tomorrow. Same, same thing. Ben responded was like, I enjoyed the evening too. Thank you so much. Meet tomorrow morning. They slept and in the morning prepared herself because she knew the time when the driver was going to pick her so that they can go see the dentist. The driver came, picked her and then went picked Ben at his hotel, went to her dentist. When they arrived at her dentist, they checked her teeth and made a total of how much was supposed to be paid. In total, it was $5,000 to be paid, you know, for her teeth to be fixed, put crowns and the root canals, work on everything. So Ben was okay, but told that dentist, let me talk with her, then we'll come back. So they go out and Ben tells Rachel, mm, I'm kind of disappointed of this clinic. I don't trust them. It seems like they are new dentists <laughs> still learning. I don't like that technology. It is so dated. We have to look for somewhere else. At the same, same time, calls his friend and asks the friend, do you know any good dentist clinic that you really trust and you recommend it to me? Then the friend tells him they go to that clinic. Arriving there, it was a very good, good clinic. You know, with new technology, they check her teeth. Some, they said they were okay, but later came to know that inside they were actually not okay. So that day they tell him how much he is supposed to pay. And it was 3 million Ugandan shillings. <laughs> he pays for that, but later on when she came back, they saw other teeth were not okay inside and he paid again. And this time it was 10 million Ugandan shillings. I've got the receipts. I will be putting them here for you to see them. So Rachel was really, really happy. Then Ben asks her, do you want them to start the procedures now? She was like, no, not now, but I'll come back tomorrow but tomorrow never went back because wanted to spend much of her time with ben for them getting to know each other and when he leaves then was supposed to go back and work on her teeth so when they were together enjoyed each other's company and she came to find <laughs> the receipt of the bill at the restaurant was shocked they spent five hundred thousands Ugandan shillings. I was like, what? Is this guy crazy? <laughs> oh my God, that restaurant was that expensive, but still had no idea who is Ben, what he does for a living, but kept on enjoying good time with him. There was chemistry. Oh my God, he was treating her like a princess. Tells us she wishes to be reliving. <laughs> that moment every single day. So Ben kept on staying in Uganda and the second week of him being in Uganda, now we go to the goodies. <laughs> My goodies lovers. <laughs> yeah. So Rachel tells us that day they spent it together. You know, they went on a lunch date and after lunch date, went back to his hotel. Then they had dinner on the rooftop restaurant, you know, a very romantic dinner. And when they finished eating, <laughs> Rachel told him, uh, you know what? I would like to spend every minute with you for this time you are here. So today I'm not going back home. <laughs> Then Ben asks her, are you sure? She's like, yes, I'm very, very sure. Then he was like, okay. He was really, really happy that Rachel was going to spend a night <laughs> with him. <laughs> so yeah, they spent more time there 
talking, you know, enjoying each other's company, and then goes to his hotel room. So arriving in his hotel room, Rachel goes, takes a shower. Rachel was like, you know, it has been so many years since she had the goodies so she was kind nervous and her system was dead so told ben about it don't worry it's fine everything will be fine <laughs> yeah and i know some of you can relate to this when you stay lots lots of time without having the goodies and then it's time to have the goodies <sighs> the pressure <laughs> Yeah, your heart beats very, very fast. <laughs> Let's end it here. <laughs> ben was on the computer answering some emails. So after she took her shower, lied on the bed, then Ben went and took the shower, Kim also lied on the bed, told us the curtains were open, so they were looking at the moonlight. You know, it was so romantic, a very beautiful moment. And then voila, <laughs> chemistry happened. <laughs> they enjoyed the beach goodies and it went really really good everyone enjoyed themselves <laughs> that's what rachel tells us she also adds that it's like the goodies brought them so close spiced up everything because <laughs> after having the goodies the next morning that is when he called daughter who is in america new york talked and introduced rachel then called his two sons in germany introduced rachel they were so happy you know to see her and after that that was the time rachel felt comfortable to introduce ben to her son so he went to meet her son brought him lots lots of toys then later went for fishing together did lots lots of activities together went to the zoo all was super super good so guys ben stays in uganda they keep on enjoying time together rachel was living her dream life at that time the life that she always wanted so he takes her shopping and tells us doesn't like shopping imagine <laughs> ah rachel is a very different woman yeah who doesn't like shopping <laughs> i was actually shocked so takes her shopping and keeps on asking her do you want this and she's like no <laughs> so eventually told her wanted to buy for her a phone so they enter into that shop and you know starts looking at the phones there was iphones then he starts looking at the iphones and asks the guy how much they cost then the guy told him how much they costed he's like oh, kind of expensive <laughs> yeah so when rachel had that was like eh, this guy has spent all his money to impress me to hire the car and all that now he doesn't even have money he can't even afford that iphone i am very very sure so rachel goes to pick samsung s23 <laughs> Then he tells her, no, Rachel, if you want an iPhone, you can take the iPhone, no problem. I can pay for it. Take it. Take the iPhone. Rachel is like, no, Samsung is fine. Actually, says is kind of a Samsung person. So she was like, as long as it calls, it has WhatsApp. For me, it's fine. He keeps on insisting, please take an iPhone. Then she says, no, 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 don't worry. Are you sure? She says, yes, I'm sure I'll take the Samsung oh my god another shock he looks at her smiles shocks his head and is like you are a very special woman you don't even wear the wigs or lashes or long nails you don't put on makeup you are so special oh my goodness <laughs> rachel laughs and like i'm just myself yeah <laughs> so he buys for her samsung s23 and then they go back home so yes guys from the time they had the goodies everything kept on going well and tells us it's like they became very free with each other and yeah they could enjoy the goodies then time came for him to return back 
to Germany. But before he left, he told Rachel, I would like to invite you too to Germany so that you can come, get to see my life, meet my kids and everything. So Rachel was like, it's fine. Then promised to send her the documents for her to apply for the visa. So yes, guys, Ben left, returned to Germany, but still Rachel doesn't know what Ben does for a living. He left the second week of June 2024 this year guys yeah so when he left they kept on talking and eventually sent her the documents to start the visa process everything was really rushed so when she got the document did not sit down to go through everything and when he checked on the document where you know his salary is showing she saw something like 2400 euros per month so yeah, did not even care, continued with her application and cause they rushed everything, had to pay extra prime time for a short notice appointment. So when she went, had only one week for her to travel. It was a very short period of time cause maximum the tourist visas takes 15 days and she was supposed to travel 22nd of June 2024 the time was really really limited but asked the lady if she should keep on with the application the lady told her if you're not going to travel or go anywhere better give it a try who knows a miracle might happen so rachel kept on with her application so when rachel was handling over her documents you know at the embassy then those ladies were looking at each other you know laughing and she was like what are they laughing about what are they gossiping about <laughs> yeah then the lady asked her who is this person to you then rachel responds a very close friend she laughs and is like ah <laughs> please get us to such kind of friends. Rachel is like, why are you saying that? He responds again with a question that, is this salary statement even real? Rachel is like, why are you saying that? <laughs> she was really confused, out of place. Like, what are these people talking about? That is when she took the paper that the lady was talking about, looking at the salary, it was 24,000 euros per month as a salary. <laughs> like what? This whole amount of money? What does this guy do for a living? <laughs> but had to defend her man at that time and told them, can't you look at the heading of the company? <laughs> yeah, so they told her, okay, no problem. So she handed over her passport and returned back home. But returning home had lots, lots of questions and confused. So when she arrived home, contacted Ben, was like, Ben, I saw this amount of money in your documents. What do you do for a living? That is when Ben opened up told her everything guys, who he is. He's a very rich, rich, rich guy. He has got lots, lots of private clinics all around the world, even in Johannesburg where he was. He has got multiple, multiple businesses, well-performing businesses, businesses that has been there for years and years. He is a billionaire. Yeah, that's the truth. Even Rachel, when was sharing this love story with me, you know, I am her mentor, her sister. <laughs> Some of you call me mommy. Yeah, sometimes I act as your mother due to the things that we share. So she shared with me Ben's ID. Not only his ID, add on that she sent me lots lots of links of all his companies so that i can go and see who is the guy i went and oh my god i was shocked i couldn't believe rachel found that wealthy guy the billionaire onto that dating app 
yes i've had stories like of dorothy i have another client that has a friend that found a very very rich guy on tinder and they got married here in italy the wedding lasted for two good weeks the invites been taken care of if they had kids they were nannies to take care of those kids it was wow 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 <laughs> she was telling me so so hearing rachel too from that rich guy online i was like what oh my goodness this is something i had never imagined but yeah <laughs> they are there guys rich guys too are there on the dating apps searching for love but i'm not here to tell you to search for rich guys search for true love if a rich guy comes that's a plus and a blessing from god so after rachel talking to ben was kind you know very very scared told ben now everything changes this changes everything because why were you wasting my time because looking at his status told him you are supposed to stay with supermodels you know with the money that you have you should have women seeking your attention you know begging not me you know i am not your type and told herself i shouldn't be fooling myself that ben will even settle with me with all the money that he has maybe he was just passing his time so told ben i need to think about this very very well but ben kept on reminding her how special she is and even added that he has never experienced what experienced with her never met a person with her character and her personality but rachel decided to ignore ben for some time so rachel told him i need time to digest all this and ben told her please forgive me i am sorry but told him you don't need to be sorry just give me the space <laughs> so so took her space but ben kept on reaching out and rachel kept telling herself no i'm not supposed to get attached to this guy he kept on writing and writing and writing eventually forgave him and they kept on their relationship <laughs> so yeah she kept on waiting on the embassy but no response eventually ben had to call the ambassador and after talking to the ambassador the ambassador was like if you could have told me before i could have done something but now it's really late so rachel had to write an email to withdraw her application and get her passport back they were sad but immediately ben told her i have decided to come back to uganda to meet you again so yeah ben had left the second week of june 2024 and then august returned back to uganda oh my god love is really really beautiful <laughs> imagine a rich guy like that must be busy you remember timothy how he used to say i am busy i am busy this all the workers it is so sunny so i have to be there be the one to work <laughs> but this is really a rich guy that has people working for him and he can manage them wherever he will be that is why he was able to travel again so when he arrived in kampala oh my god rachel tells us everything was going super super good very very good and this was even beyond love <laughs> the connection they had i don't know like best friends yeah <laughs> yes they could enjoy the goodies but not like every single day because <laughs> what mattered to them the most is the connection that they felt the compatibility between them so they spent good time together stayed at serena chego you know for some days enjoying all was super super good so guys as he was in uganda you know for the second time enjoying good times together then one day brings this job topic so he asks rachel do you really enjoy your job Rachel is like, yes, I enjoy. Do you plan to work there forever? 
she's like i don't know so tells her for me even if you stop working it will be fine i can be paying you every single month but remember rachel is my baby and she is an intelligent woman <laughs> yeah remember is a single mother so just resigning from her job because this rich guy is telling her <laughs> to resign from her job she will be paid was like for me i would like to keep on working so ben brought this proposal told her if you want to keep on working i see the salary they are giving you i would like you to join one of my companies in johannesburg i'm going to give you a very high high post and you'll be receiving your salary direct from germany yeah so that you can earn good and get to learn because it is a new field rachel thought about it very very well eventually rachel was like it's fine i'm going to think about it and then let you know so time came and he was supposed to go back again to germany you know keep on his business but they agreed she's going to reapply again and go to germany for one month november this year next month guys <laughs> yeah so promise to send her again the documents and they do everything so that they can be together <laughs> but before he left to germany had another business meeting in johannesburg so rachel accompanied him to the airport they were sad but in her mind knew as uh, soon i'm going to meet him november <laughs> so he left went to johannesburg and when he arrived there told her everything even took the videos you know that i am here <laughs> then the next day rice to rachel is like no i miss you so much please i'm paying for the flight ticket so that you can fly here and i get to see you again <laughs> oh my god he's crazily crazily in love with rachel and yeah sent her a flight ticket the next day rachel went and she went the next day he had a meeting took her to his business meeting they attended it together told her i wanted you to see how we do things this side because <laughs> if she will decide to go to johannesburg then at least she knows how the environment is and everything even introduced her to everyone that was at that meeting wow 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 and this is what i've been telling you guys that if you date a guy a guy should give you assurance you should feel protected around him even if that guy isn't rich like ben but whatever small he has he should be able to share it with you he should give you an assurance he should give you you know that that protection not dating a guy he's not giving you any assurance he's not giving you any protection and on top of that <laughs> he's putting boundaries no that kind of a guy never date him if you're dating him now block 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 <laughs> and by the way guys before i forget rachel tells us before he left to south africa left her with four thousands euros oh my god and when he invited her again to johannesburg it was just a day of him being in johannesburg sent her again money to do shopping rachel was like i never even did any shopping <laughs> yeah wow so this lady is being spoiled very very much you who were wondering if he paid for you know the visa fee and all that yes of course he took care of that and he's still taking care of everything so yes guys they spent good times together in johannesburg and then he flew back to germany arriving in germany sent her the documents again for the visa application so rachel applied for the visa went did her interview two weeks ago now waiting for her visa let's pray that she gets her visa gets to travel go to germany to meet his family he has promised her that he's going to be taking her to a certain island it's an exclusive island by the way guys i've never heard of that island <laughs> 
it was the first time for me to hear about that because for us we're used to you know these islands like Maldives and many many other but that one is exclusive <laughs> for billionaires yeah because he has got houses there this guy has got houses everywhere <laughs> in Europe here he has got five years he had his own private jet but, but told rich when he bought it he just bought it because every rich guy owns a private jet <laughs> so later he got tired of it and had to sell it but now told Rachel he misses his private jet so so wants to buy another one again and we also have lots of plans me and Rachel because <laughs> she will be moving around Europe I can't wait I can't really wait girl I am praying for you you're gonna get that visa <laughs> yeah i wish you all the best let us wish rachel all the best guys in her love journey so guys with rachel's love story really pushed me last week i posted something on my instagram i don't know if you guys came across it what i wrote i was like if you are a woman and when you sit down and you look at your love relationship how it has been going there are two things. Either there are some things that have been repeating themselves. And those things are very, very bad things. For example, I told you guys, I opened up to you and I was like, when I was dating, before being connected to my husband, I used to have relationships and guys could just ghost me. Every guy I could date, could ghost to me. I spent so many years blaming myself, be like, maybe I did wrong. Maybe I did this. That is why the guy, you know, left. Maybe I'm not beautiful enough. Guys, you just don't know how many nights I spent blaming myself for those guys to leave. But guys, surprisingly, same things kept on happening. Even at that time, I was like, okay, I'm going to behave this way. You know, be that understanding girlfriend. I told you, I've been a mumu too. <laughs> Last time, <laughs> there is a baby of mine who told me, I've watched Rachel's love story part two and she was a mumu. <laughs> and I told her, yes, we all have been mumus in love. And she was like, me too. <laughs> me too, I've been a mumu. Bella, I agree with you when you say, who bewitched women died long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so I was a mumu too. I could be that understanding girlfriend, you know, treat a guy like an egg so that he doesn't ghost to me. But guess what? Guys kept on ghosting me. And that is when one day I woke up and I was like, no way. Something must be wrong because one guy can be bad. The second can be a player, but not all. Something is wrong somewhere. That is when I had to intensify praying and praying, going to churches. I told you I could even sleep at the church. Pray, pray, and pray. Break those chains. And eventually, God brought my husband. So, if things in your love relationship have been happening the bad way, repeating themselves, repeating themselves, pray girl pray okay and god is going to open a door for you will bring that right man because it is possible you spend lots lots of time blaming yourself just like i used to blame myself second exist ladies that good things happen in their relationships but they don't last okay you are happy you know all is fine a guy is spoiling you like how it happened to Rachel, but never last. It ends, you go back again, you know, to cry, being single, lonely, and all that. So when you pray, pray to God to make that relationship that will come to last so that you can find happiness, you know, you can be at peace, not something that comes temporarily and then evaporates. Pray, pray, pray. So guys, I decided to tell you this because you see Rachel, Rachel is such a blessed girl and God wrote it that she will get married to a rich guy. Yes, that is when you see her first relationship got approached by a pilot. 
it did not go well. Then the second relationship brought Timothy, a guy who sends you 15 million or 20 million Ugandan shillings, you know, you haven't met, isn't a poor guy. He was a well-off guy. Did it last? It never lasted. But Rachel prayed and prayed and prayed. Then God brought Ben into her life. And what I have told Rachel is to keep on protecting her relationship with prayers and everything will be fine. Yes, I know there is that fear, you know, for what happened and you're like, oh my God, will it happen again? I heard that too. But trust me, when God decides, no one can stop it. So please let me hope you learn from this, from Rachel's experience and my own little experience that I have given you. Let me hope it will be of a help. Those who are wondering the name of the dating app, where Rachel met Ben, they met on Badu. Yeah, and she was not paying, but Ben was paying on Badu. Yes. And that's how I end today's video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video till now. I know it has been a long one, but I believe you have enjoyed very, very much. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.